Hey there guys, my name is Kelly Marie and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what £400 gets you in East London um, and that's including basically the utility bills and the other council tax, water bills and things like that. So as you come in, this is my room. It's actually a single room um, and contrary to other agencies, this one is um, actually quite honest and basically they actually advertise a single room and a single room is what you get. So it's not the largest, but it's actually quite decent. I can basically outstretch my arms twice and a bit like a quarter. Um, and as you can see, the bed is also a single bed. So um, it might be a tiny bit broader than a single bed, um, but it's still just a short. And it's not as comfy, but basically it does its job. So as you can see, those are just my laptop and my other kind of tech things like my phone and my tablet. Um, I have some posters on the wall. Um, also, over by the window you can see that's my lamp. Most times I don't actually have my full on lights on, I just use my lamp. And then next to it I have like my steamer which I use to basically steam my clothes. It's a lot easier to travel with than a traditional iron. Um, otherwise you can see that I have my little poster that's the poster of my mom um, and these are basically my makeup items so that's some wipes and just like nail polish foundation um, and all those little knickknacks that was a present from my friend actually um, I also have my humidifier which is really helpful during the summer um, and as you can look below that's just where I plug in all my techie items so um, as you move over a bit, that's another tray that's basically full of basically hair products. It looks like a lot, but most of these things are actually empty. Um, I'm just trying to use them all up. So some of these things I actually combine together and I'm just trying to get rid of them and have a lot more space. So that's basically practically empty, probably another two uses or so. Also empty, as you can see. Um, what else? And yeah, that's just some eyeshadow that is actually empty as well um, but it has a mirror in it so I use it as a case. In there is where I keep my jewellery. Um, that was just a present that I got when it was my birthday around two years ago and I keep my jewellery inside. That's my jewellery. Um, I keep my gold jewellery in that one and in the other one I also have some more but I keep my silver jewellery in that. Over to the other side, I have uh, another bag full of like necklaces. Um, it's actually not that much, but I got that little case from. It was basically a case from my shopping bag. It came inside, and I just kept it and used it because it's really cute. I also have another knickknack um, of a cat. Uh, well, a cat and a kitten. I really love this. I got it on a sale. Um, it was just a little garage sale, and I think I only paid one or two pounds for it. And also I have this little uh, statue, it's from my trip to Madrid with my friends, um, that I think is a symbol of Madrid and <laughs> I'm very particular about where I put those things. Also I have this music box which I went, um, which I got when I went to Prague, it actually plays the Harry Potter theme song and uh, yeah I'm just gonna put that back. So that's basically just a little bag full of my travel beauty kit and also my shampoo and behind it I have this shaver, I just keep it in its little pouch. A um, lot more cheaper than buying disposable razors as well. Now that's just my little stool, sometimes I will actually play my uh, my videos and stuff on that on my laptop while it's there or I'll eat on that. Um, and on the next shelf I have my techie items, you can see I have my camera. Um, let's see, there's, uh, I have two cameras actually, one of them is like an action camera which I keep in that clear plastic thing, um, my little mini speakers, most of these are actually gifts, uh, my iPad Nano from ages and ages ago, um, my books and things, so I'm actually writing a little book, so that's kind of actually going well at the moment, so yeah, hopefully that continues on. Um, I have a little, uh, my travel extensions, um, I also have that light clip. Where I can actually clip that onto like little corners. On the other side, I have my earphones, which I use for gaming, and it lights up, which is really cool. Um, 
and below I have well behind below I actually have um, my printer which is in this bag I don't always use it but it's handy to have it and I got it in a really cheap sale for about 14 pounds so yeah that was actually pretty cool um, and yeah even though I don't use it doesn't mean I'm gonna throw it away or give it away I have my salt which I keep because I eat in my room sometimes my cleaner and uh, my antibacterial cleaner and then I have my spray to waterproof my outfits when I'm cycling anyway I have my little bin area that's just where I keep my little stuff that I don't need and I'm gonna throw away um, usually lasts me for a good few weeks so next up I have my shoes after that um, and basically I have just these two pairs I keep them because they're the most the ones that I wear most often and I keep the majority of my other shoes in here I have brought six other pairs in there um, and that's where I keep like my underwear in that drawer above which I didn't show earlier and next to it I also have um, a just a little vacuum cleaner um, I also have my bag that I keep my cleaning supplies in and like my stuff like my tissue um, just extra things like towels and things um, and I got that as a present from my cousin a couple of years back, which I still use. Also, this is another tray that I keep like my beauty items, but I don't, it's kind of practically empty at the moment because I don't use it as much unless I'm traveling. Underneath, I just have my huge suitcase, which all my clothes can actually fit in, which is actually really good. And um, it's one less thing to worry about when I'm traveling, um, which actually I don't travel this like big. A lot of time so that's nothing to worry about and then I have my yoga mat beside that Af afterwards I have my umbrella as you can see it's just a mini small one which I put in my bag but it's easy to just grab it off the hook and um, when I'm in a rush and yeah my tape measure inside I have just as you would expect my clothes Um, I actually don't have that much clothes um, in that part of the wardrobe it's mostly just my toolkits in that corner I have my traveling bag um, and up there you can see I have mostly coats the coats take up majority of the space um, I have three on that side and then two and a cardigan on that side and it's just because I get so cold really easily being from Jamaica that um, sometimes it's just worth it just to have all that and then I have some of my dressing up tops. I don't wear them very often, they're for special occasions, but I do love all the colourful items that I have had. Uh, and yeah, I just keep my little bits there. I actually have my uniform underneath there, which I have to wear to work. Um, in the drawers below, I just have my just basic general tops. Um, and these are more like casual, everyday things. Um, in the drawer which you'll see below is just where I keep all my like, like my bikini um, house stuff uh, yeah additional underwear and things like in the other corner I keep like my hats and things um, and also I actually keep my bedding and stuff in here as well so it's not just clothes I think yeah I think actually I keep all my warm clothes down there as well and yeah I'm just fishing out my hat which actually I keep my gloves and stuff in which is easy to find um, yeah that's all my clothes I only have like my bed clothes on the line downstairs which I'm washing and yeah that's all my clothing stuff so on the other side I have my bag this is my bag that I travel with when I'm cycling and my second one's for shopping just because it's really good quality and it doesn't hurt my back it's also water resistant <laughs> Uh, behind the door you can see that I have my blow dryer and um, it's really handy I don't always use it but it is really handy and I have my scarves some bags which I've got as gifts as well my family always buys me bags for some reason um, and I have my belts as well I also have my robe which I wear around the house when I get really cold and yeah, it's actually a raccoon uh, fur thing it's not actually real fur it's just raccoon and I actually have my waterproof coat beside that as well above the wardrobe we can see I actually have this basically it's like a tray and I attach it to my bike that spatula is what I use to clean it comes with a fluffy thing which I'm currently washing at the moment to clean the floor and actually that's just a next next to it is just a spare bag as well so that's the overview of my room um, very small sweet and it does the job 
and I'm actually I'm really comfortable in here so I don't really worry so much and you can see it just gets really light here during the daytime so I'm just gonna head over and show you guys the bathroom it has a full bath surprisingly for basically a shared house it does and these are not all my stuff I share with about six other um, people and yeah it comes with a shower the shower is partially broken but it does the job um, it comes with a mirror and yeah if we head back out it does look a bit grimy but that's it does get clean every weekend um, and I'm gonna go downstairs and show you um, just small sections I'm not show you everything for everyone's privacy so just behind the door you have the washing machine um, and next to it I just finished washing so I'm gonna close that as well but that's my bike next to it because I cycle to work I don't really take public transport unless it rains a lot which it does sometimes and it's actually foldable so sometimes I'll fold it up and take it up to my room on the weekend or when I'm going away so at least I know that it's secure just in case someone forgets to lock the door um, also that's actually another bathroom but someone's in there so I can show you and next over there is actually my pressure cooker um, I use it um, quite often actually it's really handy and um, I would get it if you do live in a shared house and that's actually outside it's a really nice um, sunny day um, it's not the nicest <laughs> but it does the job and if we want we can just sit down and enjoy the sun the door is also very crooked so it's literally like the hardest thing sometimes and um, it takes a lot of effort just to close um, I just have to make sure that the handle goes up or else it won't close properly and I can't twist the keys um, which as you can see I managed to do in the end so this is the fridge that I keep my stuff in um, so yeah if you look inside um, I share with other people so that bit is mine um, so it's the shelf above that and a few of the stuff in the door as well and then the freezer that first section is mine and then that's just an ice tray which I keep my ice in and um, no one else uses it so it's really handy and this isn't the only fridge for six people there's actually two more over that side um, and yeah up here is my cupboard so yeah that is all my stuff um, and it's actually a lot of space for me so yeah anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope that you did enjoy this video um i know it's been a while but i went to get back in the groove of things because i ended up moving again and it took so much effort time and just it was just really exhausting i just needed a break so yeah i'm back at the moment i hope that you enjoy this video and yeah I will speak to you guys next week.